Okay, um, welcome to another session of EMS App Review. As always, this is Keith Widmeyer here going over the CDC Trauma Triage app. This is a pretty neat app. It's free. It's put out through the CDC and it reviews the 2011 CDC guidelines. If this is a document you are unfamiliar with, you really should become familiar with it. It is available at the CDC's website and they just have done an amazing job getting so much information, so much data together to evaluate what really uh, classifies as significant trauma requiring need to go to a trauma center. And some of the revisions they've made were really, really interesting. Uh, for example, the whole going to you know patients who are involved in rollover collisions, that is no longer an indication for going to a trauma center. Now, if a patient is unrestrained or meets one of the other guidelines, obviously, but the rollover alone is no longer an indication. So we'll go ahead and hit continue, <clears throat> and um, here's where you can find that information. It is published in an M MMWR from the CDC, and um, again, really, really good information if you get a chance to read it. So a couple of things here. This is set up very similar to the um, to the Limmer Creative uh, app. Go ahead one second. Sorry about that. There we are. Oh, we were on full screen there. Um, this is a very set up very similar to the Limmer Creative uh, 101 Test Tips app. Uh, the way it's set up, you've got your on the bottom. You can follow us. You've got your history. Your about the app and um, the settings. And for the settings, you can go ahead and just replay, re, um, reset your history and reset what you've mastered. So very, very similar setup. It's a standard flashcard setup. So <clears throat> this first one here is your decision scheme. And this is the algorithm that the CDC has developed right here. Um, and you can go ahead and zoom in on that. And it goes through, you know, vital signs, you know, going through each of the vital signs, your GCS, all that jazz, yes or no, you know, if yes, if it meets any of those criteria, you go right to a trauma center, if not, then you go through the anatomy of the injury, break that down, if it doesn't meet any of that, then you go to the mechanism of injury, if it meets any of those, then you can go to a, tra to a trauma center, if it doesn't meet any of that, then you've got your additional risk factors, if it meets any of those additional risk factors, it'll automatically warrant trauma center um, care, Otherwise, you can transport according to your local protocol. Uh, when you're done with that, you have to zoom back out and just tap on the screen. It gives you your standard menu to go back. And then you can go ahead and test your knowledge. And it's 25 questions. Go ahead. Right there. Okay. Um, you can go through 25 questions. And you can skip through on that bottom uh, triangle if you'd like. Um, you know, anticoagulant use in injured patients, you know, A is rarely encountered, B has been associated with an increased risk of intracranial hemorrhaging, C requires transportation to a trauma center, D is only a problem in, in the severely injured patient, so we'll go ahead and do B and C, and we can either skip through or we can go ahead and show the answer. Uh, our answer was correct, uh, obviously because of the issues with bleeding associated with trauma. So we could go ahead and click that we mastered that and that will no longer appear. And like I said, this is a very standard uh, flashcard format. Um, we can go ahead, you know, maybe click the wrong one over here. We'll just click that. And you can see it gave us that we did have the wrong one. So we can go ahead and skip that and hopefully it'll reappear at a later point. You can see you can just go ahead and skip through the questions by clicking uh, on either one of the triangles. Um, very simplistic app, but as I said, it contains a good bit of information and it's a good review, especially for students if you're preparing for a trauma exam. This is a really quick, easy review. Um, it doesn't take up a huge amount of space on your on your smart device, but it's pretty quick, pretty easy, and plus it has that decision scheme in there, so you can go ahead and review that before a, a trauma exam. Again, this is Keith Woodmeyer with EMS App Review. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care.